All right, episode number two of Hugh's Startup Vlog. I'll just get right into the stand-up meeting. What I did yesterday, admittedly not much. I was here working on the website and I got distracted. One of the obstacles that I identified yesterday came up and I did not uh, surmount it. Um, the initial distraction was an improv jam across the street at Improv Boston, and that's where improvisers just show up and they can get on stage and do scenes uh, uh, instead of you know having to be booked in advance for a show. Um, so I did that just to sort of flex the acting muscles and get some reps in, which is always nice. But uh, afterward, um, a couple of my fellow improvisers wanted to get drinks at a bar down the street. So again, I just sort of went with that because uh, the thinking was I'll just stay for two and then and then uh, and then come back to work. But I ended up staying out a lot later. You know, had some nice conversations with those people, and um, after that, it got late enough that I was like, well, you know, how much am I actually going to get done? And so then I ended up going to a uh, concert uh, with this artist I really like um, down the street, and so that took up the rest of my night, and I didn't get anything else done. I wrote a couple lines of code, but that was it. And uh, of course, due to uh, staying out late and partying, I uh, once again woke up late today, and then I had other things in my schedule, so I had another improv rehearsal today. Um, and this one I actually could not have skipped because it was um, with this, uh, my, uh, duo prof partner and uh, and our coach and it was our first session with a coach and we have uh, a big audition tomorrow so I wanted to be ready for that um, so because I woke up late and then I had the rehearsal I'm just now getting to a point where I am uh, about to work of course it's now 940 at night and um, <laughs> And so that doesn't leave me with a lot of room to, to get much done. And especially if I want to uh, go to sleep at a reasonable hour so that I can wake up at a reasonable hour, um, that makes things a little difficult. Unless, of course, I just stay up all night and, and try to uh, reset my biological clock, um, which is something I do all of the time, far more often than anybody should. Um, but it is a strategy that does work for uh, getting back on a regular schedule because I am uh, constantly up at night and, and sleeping during the day. I'm very nocturnal. Um, so what am I going to do today? <laughs> uh, I'm going to continue to work on the website. And uh, the obstacle already identified, uh, it's, just, uh, it's just a time crunch. And... I really just long term obstacle is just getting over this sort of um, impulsiveness that I am uh, prone to of just you know seeking out the fun and you know I don't want the work to mean that I never get to have fun but at the same time I do have to have some self discipline um, you know in the time between. My last contract gig, which f basically funded uh, this venture, this gave me enough in savings that I was able to, uh, n you know, have some time where I didn't have to work for somebody else and could focus on that. Between the end of my last contract and now, I have mostly just been treating it as a vacation, and you know, to some extent, I kind of needed the vacation. Um, because I went through some some personal uh, difficulties, and you know I really needed to um, to de-stress. Um, but that is extending uh, further than I would like it to. Um, so I really have to be diligent about um, getting things done. I mean, I've had this. Uh, co-working space membership for actually a few months now and I haven't really put it to the kind of use that I was I was hoping to put it to um, and one thing that the vlog uh, series is already doing for me is 
it's making me sort of confess my sins, if you will. It's making me, I think, and I hope, less likely to um, engage in these sort of um, I- impulsive like decisions that end up costing me productivity um, at the expense of, of having fun. Um, I think that I am less likely to engage in that behavior knowing that I'm going to have to answer uh, to, I don't know, <laughs> the internet, my friends, I don't know, everyone's going to know everything. Um, and I already have this inner voice where I need to do the vlog. I uh, thought about possibly skipping it today, but I just, uh, I don't want to break that streak, right? I mean, this is already, this is my third video, it's the second episode. Um, but because of the weird zero number thing, but, um, it's just, it's too early to, uh, to take a day off, uh, from this. And so if I don't tell the truth in the video, th- that would also be bad. So I'm always going to admit when I screw up and, um, you know, I want this to be useful to to you and to me. Um, so yeah, that is. I'm I'm just trailing off now, but yeah, it's just it, it's 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 a. Not only am I working on, or supposed to be working on this company, I also need to work on me, and that is its own challenge. Um, and I know that it sort of has nothing to do with the company, but in a way it does because I am the only employee. And so, and I also think that, you know, business is not diverse, divorced from, uh, the uh, one's business life is not divorced from their personal life. The two interact and overlap. We like to pretend that they're completely separate, but I don't think that they uh, really are all that much. Um, and so, I think that with this series, my personal life will probably be talked about um, as well. Um, I will try to highlight the the business aspects more, but if something in my personal life is affecting the business, then I'm going to talk about that. I want to be open and and transparent. Um, Okay, well, I will leave it at that. And uh, yeah, I I hope to do better. (laughs) All right, bye.